Tara Lynn with Five Acres Honey Farm and today is a honey garden and honey farm day and I realized after I filmed everything throughout the day that I forgot to record an intro and an outro so uh, let's go around and visit the quail the chickens I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, gardening in the in-ground garden working on the high tunnel also on the pond garden and uh, going in the hives as well uh, so let's go take a look I just sprinkled a handful of scratch and some mealworms for them. I need to fill up their little jacuzzi, which is that little tray where I put some ash in. Quail are probably the most anxious and skeptical creatures I've ever owned. Gladys. Gladys loves the attention. Loves attention. Good girl. Good girl. All right, everybody had their breakfast? You're good. I want to show you a little weeding trick that I use, and that is some dill that I need to thin. I'm going to thin it later. And these little leaves popping up are actually not real strawberries. They're like a, a fake strawberry weed, and they get pretty invasive. So I use cardboard. What I do is put a piece of cardboard over any weeds I see, and then I cover them with compost so the weeds become mulch and they're gone. I'm about to do the same thing on this side. There's a lot of weeds encroaching from the uh, garden fence, getting closer to all the lettuce and broccoli. All done. And the other benefit to this is that I don't have to disturb any roots. So not pulling anything up, not disturbing the soil. Everything can just stay in place. It's super simple. Also working on the high tunnel, I just pulled the tarp back over there. I'm not gonna work on this side yet because this is where I'm gonna put the peppers and tomatoes, but I really need to get the potatoes in the ground and I'm gonna use this whole length of the side. I've had the best success with tarping and then putting a layer of cardboard and then putting um, compost straight on top. So that's what I'm doing in here. Just repeating what I've had great success with and um, Hopefully we'll get the plastic on the high tunnel in the next few weeks It is so gorgeous out and I can't wait to get in the hives later Quick update on the pond garden um, Doing some transplants. I potted up last summer some bee balm I found in the woods and so one plant turned into like seven or eight plants there so I'm gonna let that spread around here the and then all these daffodils had already been here and I didn't know where it was when I put the pond in so some of the uh, the daffodils got stuck under the rocks uh, my friend just dug up some irises and um, split the bulbs so I just put some over here because they will love all the runoff from the pond. I also put my ma mallow in and a few cardinal flowers finally and I have still to cover some some of the cardboard. I just brought over a wheelbarrow full of um, compost and covered that up. I've got some motherwort I'm transplanting, lavender and sage. I'm going to work on those later in the week but you can see all the compost that I just put in over here and just need to keep bringing more over. Um, as part of my permaculture design certificate that I just got, the instructor for the class pointed out that I should really put in some like stepping stones in here. So that is my plan too. And I'm thinking of planting something in this tree stump. So if you have ideas, let me know. Let's test the limit of the Liberty overall pocket. Allegedly, eggs last longer if you store them pointy side down. I'm cleaning the coop and I found all of these eggs in a little clutch, not in a nest box. So I don't know how old they are. Keeps going and going. I think that is it. Almost a full dozen. All right, their run and their coop are clean. Uh, the, there's a bunch of strawberries I just piled up there. Their food is fresh, their water's fresh. 
very very much a, a spring cleaning day and poor Loretta well poor princess cardamom Loretta keeps chasing her and I you can see she's kind of bluish because I had to spray her with blue coat she keeps having her feathers pulled out by everyone um, but yeah now I can go do the hives here's Queen Ophelia very very busy good to see There's Queen Patience. Um, noticing that these hives are like really different right now. Queen Patience has a ton of brood and I'm just not seeing that in Ophelia's hive. So I think I'm gonna give um, some kind of feed supplement, um, like a pollen patty or something to Ophelia mm -hmm. to get her going. I'm about to harvest my first salad of the season, and this is outrageous lettuce. It is the reddest lettuce on earth. And while I was walking back from the garden, I saw a bunch of violets, and I don't pick them all. I'm just gonna pick, you know, one for maybe every three that I see, and I saw some dandelion too, so I'm gonna take some dandelion greens to put in the salad as well. Um, but these violets, they're just so pretty, and I don't really taste anything when I have them in the salad. But, uh, oops. but they're just, they're just so cute. <laughs> These carrots I planted in this grow bag on Labor Day weekend last year, so like basically six months ago. And a little over six months ago and and I just want to pull out one to see how big they are and plus that'll give some room for the remaining carrots to grow a little bit bigger and um, they really like to get <laughs> their leaves stuck together um, this is either an amarillo or a yellowstone because I, I had two different yellow varieties of carrots that I had sown and I don't really label or separate any I just put them all together and with the carrots, I use the entire plant. So I'm gonna use, um, I'll just snack on this carrot because it's so tiny, um, but I'm gonna save the uh, the greens and I can put that in an omelet tomorrow. And uh, it's great, they can use them for uh, pesto as well. So thanks for coming along. And if you are new to following my channel, I post new videos every Sunday, Monday, and Friday all about beekeeping, gardening, um, chickens, quail, and all the stuff that, uh, that you just saw today. Definitely comment if you've got some questions, um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, stay tuned for more.